Good morning, <clears throat> ladies and gents. Today is day 20. Believe it or not, today is day 20 already of the 31 Day to Becoming a Better Man Challenge. My name is Diego Rodriguez, by the way, if we haven't met yet. And today's task is you've put it off long enough. You know, if you've been tuning in, yesterday was kind of talking to your, your, your partner, your loved one, you know, about your desires, you know, as far as intimacy, your sexual desires, etc., etc. On today's task is like, you know, the other side of that coin. Meaning, you know, having that tough conversation, you know, when the reality is just that, you know, maybe you've already grown apart from your love, your loved one, like, you know, your wife. You know, fortunately, maybe, you know, it's a hard thing to, to talk about, but... Or your girlfriend, partner, significant other. You know, like I was just talking to a buddy the other day and he just went through a tough breakup. You know, and as we're talking about it, you know, he's telling me like, you know, it was a long time coming, he's seen it coming, you know, the relationship was already kind of fading away. You know, and unfortunately we tend to, I know I'm like that, we tend to wait till like, you know, the volcano finally erupts to then, you know, unfortunately, you know, break up on bad terms and ruin the friendship you know whether or not you know you continue that that personal relationship you know unfortunately we tend to wait to the last minute because we don't have those tough conversations right because we don't kind of sit down and, and be honest with each other and you know maybe you just like your goals in life are not aligned or maybe you just like you know your heart is set on going to the right and hers is going to the left I'm not talking uh, political wise. I'm just, you know, talking about, uh, you know, metaphorically. And maybe, you know, you're just not on the way, same wavelength, right? Maybe you just priorities are different from what hers may be. I got a motorcycle passing by here. So I say that to say, you know, it's better to, you know, kind of, you know, be honest with ourselves, right? And, and, and have those tough conversations. But that's just a, that just does not apply to personal relationships it, it applies to business relationships as well you know maybe you know your business partners you and your business partners maybe you know it could be something that maybe they're not giving the priority to whatever the goals may be as much as you are right meaning like maybe you're making it a priority to get certain things accomplished and maybe it's not on their, you know, top of their list. Maybe it's not as much as a priority to them as it is to you. So maybe, you know, again, maybe the goals are just simply not aligning, you know. And, and you know, you don't have to ruin a friendship, you know. Friendship is one thing, business is another, you know. So maybe it's time that, that you know, we sit down and have those tough conversations with our business partners as well, right? Before, you know, things get heated up and then you end up, you know, ruining a great friendship, over, you know, when when temper start, you know, rising and then you start getting egos involved and things like that, right? So, uh, Joel, again, is the author and the coach and when he's of the 31 Day Challenge and what he's advising is, guys, you know, first of all, figure out what it is that you want to get across, right? Figure out what you want to say and more importantly, how you want to say it, right? It's meaning like, you know, practice it, be calm, logical explanations of what's going on that way you could kind of avoid those you know confrontational you know heated moments you know and, and and you start of course you know as as guys you know we start letting the egos get in the way and ladies too you know start arguing and then things you know unfortunately go through the roof right and you end up you know ruining a relationship when it was just you know when you could like easily have ended it on a good note, you know, ending a personal relationship amicably, right? Or a business relationship as well, and, you know, and not ruining the friendship. So, yo, know, I, I, I say that to say that like, you know, you've got to have those hard conversations. But the, the, the tip that Joel's giving us is that you got to plan it beforehand. That way, you know, you're cool, calm, collective, and you're logically explaining your points and why you know you feel the way you do right and then if you gotta part ways then you part ways right so guys if you're interested again i'm gonna put the link below if you're getting curious about the challenge right this doesn't the challenge is not just about you know your personal relationships but it also helps out in your businesses as well right 
So I'll put the link below if you guys are interested. And like I always tell my students, at the end of the day, trust your gut, follow your heart, better yourself, and double down. This is Diego Rodriguez signing out. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. We only got 11 more days to go.